cheers um, and thank you to the lovely Victoria Walters who inspired today's video. I am about to unpack all of my Christmas mugs and swap out some of the mugs in my mug cupboard, my Christmas mugs. So I thought I would show you my collection. Uh, welcome to another Vlogmas video. Welcome back, or if you are new here, welcome. My name is Katrina, and usually I make bookish content here on this channel at least twice a week, but at the minute it's Vlogmas. So I am bringing you bookish content many, every days of the week. Um, and then sticking with my movie reviews here on a Sunday, uh, make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out on any future Vlogmas content. Hit that notification bell and I will leave a playlist of my previous Vlogmas videos linked up above in case you have missed any or if you are coming to this later on, you can catch up on all of them in that playlist. So I'm basically just going to talk you through my Christmas mug collection. They live in this box. Um, every other month of the year and then what I do is I basically take some of my regular mugs out of my mug cupboard and replace the ones in the box with those um, and I have this one here because this is the red cup that I got this year on red cup day um, so I have my coffee in here just now because you know unpacking and organizing your Christmas mugs is a big job so we're in the kitchen today um, and another addition to the collection that I've got this year so that I haven't obviously put away in the box yet and haven't put away in the cupboard yet is my um, stack of colour changing mugs. So if you follow me on Instagram, linked in the description box, you'll already have seen a couple of these. So we have the um, red with the green candy canes, the green with the pink candy canes, the pink with the red candy canes love the fact that we have a navy blue one um i'm not sure what color these candy canes go when it's hot but we'll see um and then the mint and purple is just glorious again these aren't like traditional christmas colors so i really love these um and then the um purple with the blue the navy blue again navy blue in a christmas cup we like that and obviously they come with a lid for every occasion but i tend to end up just you know washing the same lid and reusing um but these are great because they just go in the dishwasher as well and um most places i've seen these are still available i think starbucks has realized that their color changing mugs sell out quickly so they've ordered a few more um because last year's color changing mugs were going on ebay for like 200 dollars, and it's like it's 12 dollars to buy these or i use my points to buy these I used 400 stars to buy these so they were free to me which is great okay let's take you into these this one apparently is unwrapped so this is my Polar Express mug and I got this two years ago at Marshall's um, was it Marshall's or was it TJ Maxx? Same thing, anyway, and I love this one because it's just so big, um, and it is, I think it's, my, yeah, it's microwave and dishwasher safe, which we always appreciate, and as you can see, it's super shiny, but I love the fact that it has the Believe on it, and um, just picking it out just now, I'm like, I need to watch Polar Express right now. Um, so that's the first one that we have. So I have a mixture of like mug mugs and travel mugs and hot travel mugs and cold travel mugs. Um, this, right here is one of the original um christmas mugs that i have i cannot even remember what year it is from but i know i've taken it into school so it must be at least older than 2015 um because 2015 was the last christmas that i had um working at school before i moved out here and i love the little polar bear in the bottom of this one the only thing with this one is that it is quite small so it's only I think it's not even a tall. I think it might just be a short size or it might be in between and be a 10 ounce um, because obviously you've cut off the bit for the liquid, otherwise it would be a tall. Um, that's the only drawback with this one, but I do love this one and it is, um, yeah, proper, proper vintage now. Um, then we have like a couple of like lids and, and bottoms going on here. So here we have a purchase from last year. Now, this is Disney and came from Disney Store. Uh, here's some holiday cheer. And I love the vintage look of it, um, but the lid doesn't actually stay on. So whilst 
I can use it with the lid. I have to be careful not to carry it with the lid and not to like tip it because um, yeah, the lid isn't great, but I just love the look of it. And so I could use it without the lid or I could use it with like, you know, just a straw in it, like take the, the gold bit off and just put a straw in it if I wanted to. Um, but yeah, I'll need to make space for those in the cold mug cupboard. And speaking of super vintage, this one, it doesn't even live in its box anymore. This one, I feel like I got, I feel like it should say the year on it, you know? Um, 2014, there you go. I don't think that one did say the year on it. This one I got, I think I got it in the Florida Mall when we were traveling over. And this one is the opposite. It's really big. It's 24 ounces. So compared to um, getting, you know, venti cups, in the UK at the time, it was harder to find and it's so shiny and so glorious. And I think it's been on planes with me as well. Um, and it did come in the box that I'm probably about to pull out. Um, and then we have, oh, we have my mulled wine glass. And this was given to me by a lovely colleague that I used to work with. You can see it could do with going through the dishwasher. Um, but this one is great for mulled wine and it's the first of, I think, three mulled wine glasses I'm gonna show you because Christmas is all about the mulled wine. Um, and I've had that one, again, because it was given to me by a colleague at Le Bin when I was working in school at some point. Okay, so this one is cracked so you have to be careful but this one i think we just got in target um because i was like we don't have any holiday whiskey glasses we need some holiday whiskey glasses so as long as you don't fill it right up and as long as you drink from the opposite side to where, where it was cracked but i think this one just came from the um like bullseye section in target so i think it was like three dollars for the pair i think i still have a pair we'll we'll find out we'll find out it's great because oh yes here's the other one because I um, like, you know, unpack everything each year and I'm like, oh, I'd forgotten about that one. There's the other one, which doesn't have a crack in it. So we're okay. I think we're just about, I should probably move my coffee or else I'll end up lifting it up and spilling it. Oh, so good, so good. I have a caramel apple pie coffee going on at the minute. Okay, more plastic cups coming out for you. So these are the, Cold cup, color changing, are they color? Yes, I think they're color changing cups from, oh no, I think they're just cold cups from last year. So we've got this one that says Merry Coffee. Remember that Merry Coffee thing from last year. Then we have Coffee All The Way in lovely green. Then um, Seasonal Shine, this one says, you really can't see them because they're quite like, it's better once you've got like an actual iced coffee in there. Then Magic, cool because it's a cool cup and then finally cold as iced um which again you could use these ones not um the only one that's is this Christmassy is merry coffee um and i think that's why i only have a stack of four of the um cold cups from last year so these ones are not color changing um but yeah the cold ones from last year i think i've got a couple that are still in my cupboard now because they're not specifically like super Christmassy. It was interesting because yeah, these are like shades of pink and orange rather than like being, these are at least kind of Christmas shades like red and green. Um, but yes, roasty and toasty, oh, festive cup. I like that one because it's like really not festive colors. Um, a little bit of irony. Merry coffee, which I like because you know, my last name's Merryweather. So anything that says Merry on it, I'm like, yes, yes. Um, oh yeah, this is a vintage one. This is from the UK. This is the Christmas cup from the UK from, uh, 2013, there we go. Um, and then yeah, this one says hand warmer. You see that there, hand warmer, not quite. Um, but yes, a whole stack of many plastic coffees, which if you know, I was working in a school every day, having a cup with a lid on it and a reusable one at that is definitely beneficial. Then we have my Christmas cold bottle, my Christmas sip bottle, which I got the first year we were here. So this is from 2016 um, and I um, used, it was when Target was doing 
cartwheel like rewards and one of the things you could save up your reward for was one of these bottles so I got a Christmas one and whenever I fly with this because I always fly with an empty water bottle and then fill it up at the airport and then get them to fill it up on the plane and whenever I fly with this it always gets like really really like nice compliments from the uh cabin crew who you know when you go to the galley and ask them to fill up your water bottle and they're always like oh i love that where'd you get that from i haven't seen it so this was target 2016 but it is the sip brand i do have a frozen one which could also be considered christmas um but this is the same brand the only thing with it is that it's it's not quite big enough but it's okay if you're like on a plane and get it refilled but if you're got, going on like you know a winter hike or something it's not quite big enough but you can see it's been well used because it's got the kind of chipped paint on the bottom there but it keeps your drinks very cold let me tell you that cold if you weren't drinking them constantly they would stay cold throughout the flight okay this is probably like one of my favorites um again it's a real sort of original 2007 i love the fact they've got the date on them i probably shouldn't use this this is probably a collectible um and yeah you can just see all the different i'm holding it very tight all the different snowflakes on it um and then the candy cane handle and it is a 14 ounce which is quite weird um but i think this one was uk i think i maybe got this one you got it in the Trafford Centre. I want to say it was a Trafford Centre one. I definitely, I know I have a couple of Trafford Centre ones in here that I got as like Boxing Day finds. Because um, quite often they would go to like buy one, get one free on Boxing Day. Um, and then, yeah, this is part of a mulled wine set that I got. It's like a mulled wine goblet. I have two of those and they came as a set as specifically mulled wine. I want to say I got them in a supermarket. I think it was probably Sainsbury's. Um, and yeah, like I said, this is the like original wrapping from when we moved from the UK. So packed in July, 2016. Um, and then unpacked every year Christmas here since. Um, and yeah, I've got some bubble wrap and tea towels and what have you going on. Oh, I love this one. This one was, um, let's see, 2014. 2014 was a good year for Christmas mugs. Um, the only thing, obviously, because this is metallic, you can't put it in the microwave and it's only 10 ounces. But if you've got like a pot of coffee, um, obviously, and you're at home, you can top that one up or it's good for a nice tea as well. If you've got a pot of tea, because I do have a Christmas teapot in here too, obviously. Why would I not have a Christmas teapot? Um, and then this is the original. Um, I was saying that that Saying that the one with the polar bear is one of the originals but this one are you ready for this this one is 2004 so this was the red cup design in 2004 and if I've ever used this one here in the US they know that it's not a US one I don't know how um, I think I maybe like brought it when we came over for like when we went to San Antonio for my 30th um, and used it and they, they, yeah they know somehow that it's not a US one so there's a UK one um, which is probably why it's a bit smaller as well um, it's a tall it's a 12 fluid ounces um, and it's got like a rubber bottom and it's like it's so insulated you can see it's so thick and then yeah it's got that like rubber bottom um, and yeah this one used to come to school with me a lot as well during the the uh, autumn two term um but yeah we'll need to make more space in the plastics cupboard for that one and then speaking of cups that just looks like red cups we have this i have a pair of these and are these the, is this the same design no nope, 2006 there you go this is the 2006 red cup design and i do have as i say a pair of those um and they're quite nice um so again if you're having like matching like Bailey's coffee. I think I think I've actually managed to get the pears out in pairs. They probably went in in pairs, and I'm not that impressed. But yeah, these are a tall, but they're good if you're having like yeah, you're both having a Bailey's coffee, and you can match. Or you know, when we had guests over, you know, back before 2020, when we actually had people in our homes. And this is the part where I start to like run out of space, so you'll have to bear with. Here are my 
I don't need these extra lids really. Really, I should pare down my number of lids, but these are my lids for my cold cups. So these are the lids for the plastic cold cups, and then that's the lid for the super, super shiny cold cup. We'll just put those on top of the coffee machine for now. Um, and then I have my paper chase Christmas plates in here. I have the ones that look like a snow globe and the ones that are um, polar bear. And I did have lights to match these as well, but obviously they didn't work here in the US. So I passed those on. But yeah, polar bear and snow globe. Are the snow globes two different ones? Yes, they are. There you go. Snowman and reindeer plates. So all Christmas cake must be eaten on these Christmas plates with my snowman forks because um, why would you not have snowman forks? And then we have a baby one, the espresso cup coming out. I also have a, I think I have a pair of these ones. This one is 2014. We've had a couple of cups from 2014. I was obviously like very, either gifted a lot of excellent cups in 2014 or I went on a spending spree and then this one I know definitely came from the Trafford Centre. So this is a very unusual one and I hadn't I hadn't seen these anywhere else before or after. They just happened to be in the Starbucks in the Trafford Centre that's like in the middle, not the actual main Starbucks that's like the, the sit-in store, the one that's in the middle. And they were buy one, get one free. And I was like, yep, we're doing this. And this is 2013. There you go. I know for a fact that I got those ones in the Trafford Centre. And I like the fact that they were unusual because they're not red. <laughs> and again, I got a pair of them. So if you've got, you know, people round, here's the other one, here's the pair. Um, yeah, if you've got people round, you can serve them matching. <laughs> I told you, I find ones that I forget about. This one is 2019, there you go, this is last year's. <gasps> oh, and it's not just silver, I don't know if you can see, it's iridescent rather than being just silver. I like the fact that it's just got the Starbucks on one side. So I believe this was a gift from Ollie last year, which is probably why I've forgotten about it because it basically stayed out for a couple of weeks and then got packed away again. Um, let's see. Very, very simple this is when starbucks went more down the line of we're just going to be sparkly and simple so this is 2018 this one i hope you're finding the the years of the cups helpful i don't know if it if it means anything to you but it gives you an idea of like how long i've had my how long i've been building my christmas cup collection i do have some specifically starbucks christmas cups that are at mom and dad's and i use those all year um and then this box, oh, it sounds, sounds scary, but this box is the box that the big red cup came in that I got at the Florida Mall. See, you can tell that I'm very attached to my Christmas cups as well because I know where each of them came from. But then what I do is I pack in, I pack in everything. So here's the straws for the plastic cups. So what makes them super festive is the straws that you put inside them. So there's those straws and this is the straw for the super red sparkly cups. This straw originated in this box. And then I have another espresso cup for you. This is just a red tin one. Um, and so it's still got the sticker on it. So the year must be underneath, but I know I have used it. So don't know why the sticker's still on it. Some of these, the stickers just last on them for so long. And then we have, my dad has a matching one to this one. So we could have matching espresso over FaceTime. This is 2016, holiday 2016. And it's got the um, siren on the front and then all the confetti and then just the simple Starbucks one on the side there as well. So yeah, so there's my little like, espresso cup collection um oh and here's the matching one there we go 
is a matching one to the other one. So again, I have like two, um, a red cup pair, the grey cup pair, and then an espresso cup pair, and then my mulled wine cup pair. So again, if I have like people over, which weren't this year. This one is just ever so slightly chipped. Um, but this is from Charming Charlie, and it's a <laughs> son of a nutcracker, AKA from Elf. Um, and this one has a green, uh, like, floppy lid but I never trust those like rubber floppy lids so I tend to just drink this one as like a just a regular cup at home um and then this one I have the tree ornament to match so I will show you the cup and then show you the tree ornament to match and then I think we're just about done so this one is just stunning I was so excited that I got the big and little matching cups um is this from last year Where's the year? Why is the year in a different place on each one? <gasps> there's no year on this one. What? Okay, there's no year on this one. That might be a year on the on the cup. No, this is not from last year. It must be from the year before, I think. Um, I feel like we could track through my Instagram pictures to find out when the cups first debut. Because if I've got a new cup, I'll show you on there. And then we have my Christmas spoons, which I've had for ages. And I did have four and we're now down to three. And for some reason, the, the other one in here is dirty. Like it, it has coffee on it. Um, but these are like porcelain and that's why there's only so many of them left. But I will use these to stir my coffee <coughs> throughout the festive season. You don't need to see the dirty one. Um, but yes, there you have it. Um, I think that is the end of the mug. So let me go and get that decoration for you. Um, but before I do, I also have some little snack bowls for snackish things. Um, it's a little set and they stack inside each other. And then the biggest one you could use if you were mixing up like, you know, icing for a, a gingerbread house. But yeah, they just stack inside each other. Let me go and get that matching decoration and you can see the two of them together. Here is the tree decoration that matches the cup. It's so pleasing. So pleasing. And this one does actually hang on the tree. We only have coffee cups on the tree and Star Wars under the tree. It's a Starbucks, Star Wars all the stars black christmas tree um this doesn't have the year on it either but i think it was two years ago i want to say it was 2018 because i think i can remember where i was working so there we have it um so yes i now need to clear my space in my mug cupboard those mugs will get wrapped in all of this wrapping put in the box and then come january-ish time <laughs> We'll see. We'll see how January is treating us. Maybe I'll need the Christmas mugs for a bit longer. Um, but yeah, January is time. We will swap them out again. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Does anyone else have the same Christmas mugs as I do? Has anyone else bought any this year that are very exciting? Did you get the red cup? This is the one that was free if you got a Christmas drink. I'm like, of course I'm gonna get a Christmas drink. And a sugar plum Danish, please. Why not? Um, yes, let me know in the comments um, and let me know if there are any other Vlogmas videos you would like to see coming up in the month of December. I have some fun stuff coming up for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on that future content and hit that notification bell so that you are notified straight away. Um, yes, I'm back with another video for you tomorrow. So I will see you then. Thanks for watching. Cheers.